Okay, okay. So, um, today I'm feeling good. Um, still, like one of the, one of the first things that was was kind of on my mind that I was thinking about this morning was just kind of the roommate stuff and just kind of like almost wanting to like go over the text thread because like maybe she did think that I was speaking mainly in relation to Z COVID stuff. Um, with time kind of comes that possibility that maybe that was a thing, but still with how like serious a thing this is, like need to be able to just communicate on like a, like, is this what's going on? And with all the like, again, in my perception, defensive things, like I don't like when people like throw labels and stuff so maybe it, but that's how it comes across like when it's like using words like oh you're eavesdropping or like when i can literally hear you from or your boyfriend from like my room without getting out of my bed or like that from how long my texts are texts are that it's novels even though i've had a friend say that before um or dramatic and unnecessary or um, just all these words that like, or nitpicking when like words or whatever, or something like that, like nitpicking, like all that matters is to figure out if you have a fever, because that's one of the things that the, one of the day labor guys is looking for, like just need the truth. So... <laughs> Um, so it doesn't help that there also, there's all the, all these blocks to feeling comfortable in future communication or just even with that. Um, or even with the communication that's already happened. Um. So there's some like respect or trust lost there, but um, but at the same time, my perception of her boyfriend, or having like negative perception of him, a negative perception of him, or like just struggling to like sometimes fight against that and just like give him a chance, like to some degree, um is from her because like from the time that I've met her like it's always been trouble with boyfriend and this and that about him like so always like just kind of things that end up painting him in a bad light and now they're all happy and cozy together so like and with this kind of like loss of trust or respect or whatever it's like I should just give him a chance because her, like, her, um, perspective, her voice has some invalidation, or, well, actually, perspective should never have invalidation, but her, I don't know, you could almost say the authority of her words, or, like, just full trust of her words, or something has some invalidation, so, because I was talking with him in the kitchen last night, it's like, like, you know, the only reason I think negatively of him is because of her. And now she's perfectly fine with, like, honey and all this. And, like, so. That says something towards just their stuff that you see in a person over time that tells stuff of their character. Just as their stuff over time over me that sells good or questionable or, or bad in a person's opinion, perhaps. Stuff of my character. Um... So, but maybe it is that she legit just like thought I was speaking in relation to COVID stuff. Um, there's a possibility for that. Um, but besides kind of just kind of think, wanting to maybe go over that thread or um, on the last thing she said was that she didn't care when I was talking about how like 
I must have been talking about something about job stuff because if she has a fever, which, or had a fever, again, I can't really ascertain from her, which is problematic, but, um, and they were both coughing, but from talking to the boyfriend yesterday, because I said, get better, and he said he was actually okay, and I was like, oh, but I heard a lot of coughing. The reason for the coughing is not sickness, so, um, so that eases um, things. Um, it's also interesting how much you can be wrong because like I definitely thought all the coffee was like oh wow these people are seriously sick and there's a different reason for the coffee um, and what else like I was reading a history book um, I read a spiritual text every year for like the last I mean, two years <laughs> uh, three years ago I finished the Bible that I've been reading for the third time in my life and this third time in my life I read over a period of like four years. So I finished that in 2017, 2018 read the Quran, 2019 read the Book of Mormon, and then this year I'm reading a history book. But I also started the year reading the Tao Te Ching and read half of it and then left it. So because this history book might not be done in a year, maybe I'll just finish the Tao Te Ching and that'll be my thing for the year. And then finish the history book next year? I don't know. I don't know. But um, I was kind of really off put by something in the history book that said like humans are five or no sorry the earth is five billion years old but what i read at one point or understood was that um the first humans came 250,000 years ago and i really thought about this because this would mean that the amount of times that humans have been around in relation to how long the earth has been around is about one over 20,000 or something like that that isn't so believable to me like when I first I think initially I was thinking of it in terms of like five million years the earth has been around or something rather than five billion um there's a way that I was thinking about it so that it seemed like the fraction was way um bigger I guess the fraction would be like instead of one over 20,000 it'd be like I don't know one twentieth I think there's there's something I think there's something that like made it seem like like questionable like mm, but then when I thought about it I thought about like like what the stuff in the Bible I was like well if like if we can believe that then you know like this is gonna be like if I in comparing that it's like okay this could be possible like this history thing that like it's 1 20th of how long humans have been around one whatever like 1 20th or whatever I was thinking of the time that the earth has been around and then it became a thing of like oh so like like how like I don't know how time like in this light to be like or in this yeah in this way of thinking it's like okay well then it kind of led me to this thing of like time is like I don't even know if I know how to put it in words really which is weird and I don't feel like rapping because usually that's how I can say something better if I'm struggling with saying something but um it just gave insight or perspective into if there's that much time that has passed in the earth and in us being where we are then time is a big role or over time time is a big role in I don't know. Well, at one point, whether in this train of thought or later on in a different thing, it just came to me that, like, it's not per se that impressive, like, the stuff we're doing, if we've had that much time for things to come together in the earth or in the world to kind of, like, come to these explosions of not that I thought of it with those exact words, but these explosions of like, put like productions of ideas with, you know, internet, etc. So like just all these creations that we have. This isn't word for word how I thought it, but just me trying to kind of like capture, say something of that nature. 
like all these creations that we're doing, like it's kind of less impressive if it took as much time as it has, even if it's not been like steady development of like internet, for example, over 2000 or, or 250,000 or 5 billion years, but like there's been all this time. And so like, if we come to this point in time where like there's this, you know, explosion or whatever of ideas and stuff, that's not as impressive if, because I'm looking at time as like, even like, even if, like I said, even if internet wasn't directly being thought of 2,000, 250,000, 5 billion, whatever years ago, time is like the steps towards getting where we are. And so like, if we've had, if it takes all this time for things to come to where they are, like, it makes things less amazing. Like they're amazing, but like, I feel like the time that's been had is what has led to those things. Even if there isn't like a direct threat, it's not like you're gonna look 50,000 years ago and see like, actually, I mean, if you knew certain elements that are of the internet, like I, su I suppose you could think of like civilizations when those came to be, cause that's, social that's connection and that being an element of the internet i suppose if you look at it, things like that you could see how like that led to the to the maybe not pinnacle because maybe we're going to go further of the internet um or like even if you think of corona like um jerry unless i'm i might be remembering his name wrong, but the person that I interviewed in Phony News 2 and 3, um, he talked about the Spanish flu, or the Spanish influenza, right? Um, I believe those are one and the same. Um, how that happened like that, like a century ago, right? There's, there's epidemics and pandemics that have already happened. Whether in how our bodies have developed, um, or reacted and had lasting impact on humanity. Like if diseases have had lasting impact on humanity, um, or even maybe in just knowledge-wise, like our like our fight with diseases over the centuries and millenniums or millennia or whatever, like I mean that doesn't tell the story of perhaps to my knowledge of the of why corona is around but like it's part of the story of our battle of diseases like it didn't start with corona like that is something but whatever it has led to corona whatever it is whether it is because there, there's the idea that it's like a whole government conspiracy so even if it's that how that came to be that the government would think like that would go back in time to a certain time and what led to them being worried about whatever they're worried about or why they would want to do something like that comes from something back in time. Or if Corona is just a natural disease, then what got it to be at this strength or this level or whatever. In fact, isn't it a strand of like some other disease that we're kind of used to? Like it's a different form of a certain disease. So like that is something that has, it's just not just now, like it's come over time. So if we've had 50, sorry, if we've had 25, so actually what I thought was 25,000, that's one thing that I should say, um, it's actually more, it's actually like about 5 million, um, close to 5 million. It's like 4.5 million years ago that humans, as far as like human understanding and where we are in science or whatever, I believe the belief is roughly 4.5 million years ago. But, um, so if we, whatever, whatever it's 250,000, 4.5 million, 5 billion that the earth has been around, whatever numbers are, we've had time. <laughs> like, and if we've had all this time for things to get where they are, and even like some of the things we do, we're just harnessing stuff that was already there. So like some of this stuff just bec becomes less impressive and not for that to be said in a negative way of like, oh, you did that, that's not as cool. Like, 
maybe it still is cool. I don't know. Not, it's not to take away from it in a certain sense, but to say that, like, time led to this. Like, it took that much time. Like, over time is how this was birthed. Time nurtured this. And there's been a lot of time, so... Um, but, yeah, so anyway, his, so I had an issue, though, with when I did think the history book was saying that humans have been around for 250,000 years and the Earth 5 billion, because that means it's about, yeah, because that's tw the time humans have been in the world versus how long the world's been around is 1 over, like, 20,000, and that's ridiculous. Like, when I thought it was 1 over 20 or whatever I was thinking before, it was like thought of the Bible and what it says. I'm like, okay, you know, if compared to that, then like with with that as the comparison or like the um, kind of like the the thing to judge against or like compare, it's like okay, this could be possible. And then just thinking of like hopefully somewhat along the lines of what I just said as far as time, because that was kind of the point. Um, but then thought of like, okay, well then that. And then, but then even thought back to like, oh, doesn't it say something in the Bible about like how time is different to God? Um, and then, like, so there's a way I could work with that. That just means that time is like, it just adds a, like, an importance to time or something. It gives another look at that. Um, but when I saw the 200, when I realized the one over 20,000 thing, I was like, this is, what? This isn't, that didn't make sense to me. So I like, didn't even want to further read the history book. I was like, how, how could that, I didn't really, I don't know. That's what? So, but then I did end up reading a little bit more yesterday and found out from just like, I think the very next page <laughs> where I'd been like thinking about this for like, so, or had an issue with this at least for some t for like a week or something that no, 250,000, I think, is where modern humans came into the picture. But it's, like, roughly 4.5 million. Um, kind of looking at the chart, it's close to 4.5 million that um, humans, just, like, what humans have evolved to when the origin of that started. Um, so that's still one over a thousand, roughly the time humans have been in the world in whatever form versus how long the earth has been around, but it's better. So it's still ridiculous, but it's, it's better. So I'll, I'll kind of work with it. Um, yeah. So, um, but yesterday I did eat. Um, at first I wasn't going to eat because I mean, because I had the whole thing yesterday about how like I've been through this feeling before and after feeling that different times you just want to like not like listen to, like i don't know kind of not listen to it or not because you fought that before and it's it's almost ridiculous or whatever but I end up being like well i like i do feel like not eating like even from like a kind of strong place or like uh i don't know if i want to say centered but from a like kind of good place though it's just like this is still like I don't, if I don't feel like eating, then, like, I kind of, it was still okay to not eat, even from, if, because I was from a good or centered or whatever place, from a good place, it was like, you know, so, but then, I did end up feel like eating, like, I ate a banana, I ate chickpeas for the, maybe the first time ever, and that was actually good, um, I had a, chocolate jesus cross that was good for there's been times i feel like either yesterday sometimes i'll just be like oh i want candy and think i don't have candy and i think that might have happened either yesterday or sometime before and lo and behold like yeah i have stuff from dollar tree so i had the chocolate cross i had that said let may his light shine upon us or something of that nature um i had like three packs of pop tarts um, my roommate's boyfriend threw like a whole pizza in the trash for what reason? I don't know. I just remember him talking to my roommate and saying like, this probably isn't safe anymore. Right. And her saying like probably or something. 
but I'm definitely eating that. So like, I just heated it on like 300 degrees Fahrenheit, I think, and just let it be there for a while. And it actually tastes great. But so hopefully it's not like if it's just something that it fell on the floor, then ain't nobody worried because I heated that ish and it tastes great. But hopefully, but then I thought like, what if they like dropped it in the bathroom or something? Like, because <laughs> what leads the person to say that? Like, yeah. So, um. Because what, what will lead a person to say that it's not safe? <laughs> or it's probably not safe. But, um, um, so, and that was like last night, like 10 ish or so. Um, but yeah, yesterday, just kind of stayed home. Um, I called Wells Fargo because obviously money situation, like, I'm like, I need like $6 more to be able to pay rent in on the first or whatever. And because I can't, I mean, it seems like my roommate had a, because yeah, I overheard her saying that the, at least the initial reason she was off is because of a fever. Whether she still has that, I don't know. Can I even ask her really? Maybe, but. Like I said, can't really communicate. There will be all these like defensive walls. So, um, so I mean, at least for now. But at least if the the coughing isn't a sign of so, so that's good. Um, but I still can't really ascertain stuff, and I don't know if it's three days that person supposed to go without being sick, or a week, or whatever, or two weeks. I could just I could ask the boyfriend because he's easier to talk to. But then at the same time, I am also talking to him in person versus talking to her in text. Um, but um, but yeah. So I mean, I'm so not doing day labor like. I could even technically go to Heartland, and I think on their sign it doesn't say, like, if you've been around someone sick, from what I remember. Maybe it does, but I don't, not sure that it does. But I think I should probably just stay home, I guess, to be safe. If she goes back to work, that's probably my, at least what I'm thinking, my best cue that, like, okay, I'm okay. Um, but, um... Yesterday I did order, so my credit card had expired. I did order another one over the phone that will be here next week. Uh, since five to seven days doesn't include weekends, probably not in time for rent. But today I might have um, money coming in from modeling at NDSU. If I do, I'll be good. And even if I don't, I also realize, which hopefully I do, but I also realized that... Um, I have a Shields credit card, and I think that works for anything. Paying for it, you have to, I can't, I remember you can't, like, I don't think you can pay in store. I think you almost have to, like, call somewhere to pay for it or something. But, like, I have a Shields credit card, and I think that would work because I pay my roommate via Venmo. So, I sh like, I would just need to put that in, and that would actually potentially work. So sometimes you have stuff around that you don't think you that you don't think you have. Like with all this quarantine stuff, you might think, "Oh, you don't have stuff to do, or you don't have a solution to make money, or whatever." You might there might be something you think you don't have, and you might have it. I'd be thinking that I don't have candy or something sometimes. Not that I should necessarily be eating candy every time, but I want to watch a movie or something. Even though yesterday I didn't use it for a movie, I just ate it, <laughs> or or like when I want to watch something. But yes yesterday with the candy that I did find, or the sweets that I did find, I just ate it. But usually it's because like, oh, I wanna watch something, and I want candy. Um, um, but, so yeah. Um, so, potential NDSU stuff coming in ordered a credit card, potential NDSU stuff coming in, ordered a credit card, I have a Shields card, um, 
um, I actually even contacted one of my previous roommates that owes me like one thousand or two thousand dollars, and I ended up actually just asking, "How are you?" <laughs> um, instead of ask like instead of asking, um, but contact that person. Um, Because I still consider that person a friend, even though I don't know what happened. And that would be approximately $1,000 to $2,000 that this person would owe me. Um, um, and, and my friend Courtney, um, someone that I knew from my North Hennepin Community College days, she said she would help if. Not, not that she knows about like this specifically, but I borrowed her money some time ago when she was in a hitch and or a sitch or whatever. And um, and then something happened with her $50 coming back um, on Cash App. Um, so she was going to send another today. But I've also messaged Cash App, but I don't know how long it's going to take for Cash App people to get back to me because people are kind of backed up with all this corona stuff, but, um, and I also don't know that I want her to send another 50, because then, if she, like, if she sent, because it even says that in Cash App that she sent the 50, but for some reason, I haven't received it in my Wells Fargo stuff, so what if the same thing just happens, and even if the same thing doesn't happen, then she just paid off 100, because the 50 did get taken away, um, from her stuff, so, um, so that'd be like, so that'd be a hundred, even if this does go through when she should only have to pay 50, um, if everything is understood correctly. Um, and she's being truthful. If everything is understood correctly and she's being truthful. Um, and then... Yeah. <laughs> so shields, you might be my clutch potentially, but I feel like one of these. I don't even go to like shields. <laughs> it's just because from football last year, I got cleats super cheap, and one of the things was that I had to get that credit card or whatever, and now that credit card might be coming in clutch. And I think I got that free, that jug or whatever. But the thing that I was trying to say about the candy and the shields cards is that sometimes you think you don't have something, and you do. So if you're in quarantine right now, you're like, or just dealing with this situation, it's like, I don't have this, or I don't have that, how will I do this, how will I do that? You might have something, like, it may even take a while for you to think of, like, the thing that you have that you've forgotten about, or to find the thing that you have that you don't remember for some reason. Because, like, I didn't think of the Shields card to, like, not, like, not, I want to, I could be wrong, but I want to say, like, later last night or something. Um, and I don't know for sure with the Candy Cross and all that, if it was, like, before that that I was thinking, like, oh, I, I don't know, Candy and, like, wanted to watch something. I think it was, but if not, just even like the day before or something, I could have been like wanting to watch something or watching something and been like, well, I don't have candy. And some of those times maybe I didn't, but I've had that for for a few, a couple, I want to say two or three days maybe. So there's probably a time that I've thought, oh, I want candy or whatever, and thinking that I didn't have any when I did. In fact, I've had Mexican candy. In fact, I've had Mexican candy. I still have Mexican candy somewhere. And I've had that since I moved in here. So all the times I thought, oh, I don't have candy, I did. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not like delicious candy, <laughs> but it's candy. Um, so. <sighs> And then, yeah, I, I mean, 
there's also interesting reflections that had happened yesterday and I don't really per se want to go over all of them because then I kind of like kind of what's the point because I've already talked about them but the the uh, 2020 inside video is kind of well I suppose you could kind of connect it in a sense but it's more more so the two videos following the last quarantine queasiness video um watch those two um for what a kind of a powerful reflection that happened yesterday was or just kind of what happened after the last video because that's actually good stuff but i've already talked about it in those videos so after quarantine queasiness the 42 fortitude the two videos, the two 42, 42 videos following, and if you want, the 2020 Insight video, but especially those two previously mentioned, good reflections yesterday. So, good luck. Oh, and I prayed for someone yesterday. Someone that I wouldn't have expected um, to ask for prayer. And normally it annoys me when people ask for prayer, but this person I wouldn't have expected it from. And she was a, like, and she apparently was either prayer or even just, because um, I asked her if she really wanted prayer or if it was just figure of speech and she said either. <laughs> um, and, but yeah. Also meditated for like an hour plus yesterday because Jim Brontosaurus, James Broughton, to me, I consider my Rafiki in a sense. Um, had a literal video of him meditating for like an hour or something and I didn't like sit down meditate even though I did some prayer and some kind of interesting kind of some interesting borderline spiritual stuff yesterday but when I watched his video I just kind of laid down <laughs> but um and if you watch the videos between this video and the last quarantine queasiness video, whatever, you'll see that I got another video from him earlier that day. Um, but yeah, so I also meditated for like an hour and some minutes. <sighs> so here's another day. And my uh, Dollar Tree stuff, like via email, that's kind of, then I can do whatever next step towards employment did not come in yet. So I didn't have to do that yesterday. <laughs> that was an interesting noise my stomach just made. <laughs> 